ML Sports Take here brought to you by our great friends at Bryant and Stratton College and Stanley Law Offices. It is halftime in Buffalo. The Bills have a 28-6 lead over the Miami Dolphins, and Josh Allen and Stephon Diggs going nowhere. I'm hoping that they sit in the second half. Obviously, the story in the first half is just the juggernaut that is the Buffalo Bills offense, led by Josh Allen, obviously. I mean, this guy already has well over 200 yards. He has three touchdowns passing, and the 1A story is Isaiah McKenzie catching two touchdowns from Allen, but... 80-plus yards to the house on a punt return. And how about this? How deep are the Buffalo Bills? Well, when their offense is all the way healed, all healthy, all gelling, Isaiah McKenzie is probably, what, the fifth wide receiver on the roster, I would say, after Diggs and Beasley and Brown and Gabe Davis. He's probably the fifth guy in terms of uh, the go-to, the targets as a wide receiver. And so think about this for a minute. The fifth best wide receiver, the fifth most targeted technically, right, based on talent, skill set, et cetera, on the offense, the fifth best wide receiver returned an 80-yard-plus punt return against one of the best teams uh, in the AFC, at least from a, uh, a sexy, hot, futuristic standpoint in the Miami Dolphins, a well-coached team, disciplined Brian Flores, et cetera, uh, a team that does pride itself a little bit on special teams. So that is unbelievable. That's another coup. That's another notch under the belt of one Brandon Bean. But now I think the time, it, it, it's time, <laughs> Bills. It's time to bench guys. Uh, you know, It's time to sit them. It's time to rest people in the second half. Uh, even if the Dolphins were to come back in a wild manner, Tua Tunga Viola looks like shit. I mean, he looks absolutely horrible, and the play calling is a disaster as well. The Bills' defense has come to play today, but you've still got Micah Hyde out there. You still have Jordan Poyer out there. You still have Tremaine Edmonds out there. You still have, um, you know, Matt Milano out there. You still have players out there. I think it's time to get some reserves in there, try to do a little bit of ball control, work some Singletary and Moss in there, some play action with Matt Barkley, get him his reps in the second half. Josh Allen also the single-season Buffalo Bills passing leader in history, and he outduels the likes of Drew Bledsoe. It's better than Jim Kelly. It's better than Ferguson. It's better than Jack Kemp. It's better than any quarterback. Oh, yeah, it's better than J.P. Losman, too. I had to throw that in there. Um, he is now the single-season leader for the Buffalo Bills in quarterback history and team history. Unbelievable accomplishment, obviously, but now I think the time is to grab that nice hot cocoa and sit on the bench and grab the playbook and help Matt Barkley as they get set to play next week. If they win this game, obviously, they will host. And by the way, I will correct myself on one thing. I had made some videos all week, including today, why it was important for the Buffalo Bills to get the two seat. Number one, in no particular order, of course, to host two playoff games. Another reason, of course, would be uh, that if the Kansas City Chiefs slip up at some point in the postseason and the Bills keep winning, again, one game at a time, the Bills would have an opportunity to uh, host a game uh, an AFC title game, uh, that is a, a, another reason, of course, uh, to, to go get the two seed. And uh, I had also thrown into the conversation for the Bills to avoid the Chiefs in the second round. Uh, that is not correct. That is obviously a brain fart on my part uh, because uh, the Chiefs and the Bills would not collide in the second round no matter what. The Chiefs getting the first round by, uh, they would play either the four, the five, the six, or the seven seed, depending on how things line up and who wins where. The Chiefs would play the lowest seed. And even if the Bills were to get the three and win, they would not play Kansas City, of course. They would play uh, you know, the, the, the next up seed or whatever the case may be from the Kansas City opponent. So that part was a brain fart by me all week, and I apologize on that side, but you know, it's, it's not my first mistake, and it certainly isn't going to be my last mistake. 28-6, to six, Bills lead at the half over Miami, and we'll see what they do with the starters at this point. Again, Milano, Edmonds, Poyer, Hyde, uh, Allen, Diggs. Get these guys out of there. I would keep John Brown in a little bit for reps. He's been out a little bit with the uh, the injuries and the, the COVID situation, so I would get him maybe some reps. Keep McKenzie in there. Get Dawson Knox some plays. Get the running backs involved and all the rest. But, again, the big guys, rest them now and prepare for next week, which, by the way, it could happen again where the Bills host Miami uh, in that uh, in that first playoff game. Mike Lindsley with you and ML Sports Take here, brought to you by Axe Exotic Pets, the Vince Aguirre Consulting Group, Bryant and Stratton College, and Stanley Law Offices. It's simple. Just call Joe. Log on to StanleyLawOffices.com. Your personal injury attorneys can help you today. As I always tell you, enjoy the games.